Okay, so this LCD has just completely broken. The I I just found out the backlight has failed. And uh, I'm going to do something to it that you should never do with a computer LCD or a laptop LCD ever. I'm going to disassemble it and see what's wrong, what's going on. And yeah. So, let's tear this bitch apart. Can you see? Look at that. It got worse. I don't know how well you can see that, but all I know is that it's not... It's worse than what it was. You can see there's, a, there's the crack right there. But I'm going to tear it apart and I'm going to see what's wrong. Now, you should never do this with a laptop LCD you care about. Because you will pro more than likely never be able to put it back together again. I don't... Don't, like, hold me on that. I'm just saying it. So I would not, not recommend doing this, but I'm going to, uh, disassemble it anyways. Okay, so I just got it disassembled here, and you can see all the elements. Some things were broke. Some things did not. And I found out why the LCD, the, uh, backlight broke. You see this right here? Or actually, you know what? I don't think that's the reason why it broke, but... I don't know what went wrong here. I'm gonna try connecting it up to, like, a, a power supply. I don't know how much voltage this should take. But, uh, this is a fluorescent tube. This is the backlight. I don't know why it broke, but I, I suppose I'll find out if the actual tube itself is broken, or if the, um, if the tube is broken, I really shouldn't be touching that, because that's actually, um, got mercury in it, which really isn't the safest thing. This is the, um, I don't want to break that. At least I don't want to break that any more than it is broken. Okay, I had to take off a whole bunch of tape in order to get this to go. But, um, this is the sheathing. And this is the part where the, uh, little tube goes in. This is the plastic outside. That, uh, kind of broke. Um, these are a whole bunch of, uh, except for the bottom part, these are a whole bunch of sheets. Oh my god. That is so cool. That is so cool. Look, can you see that? Oh my god, that is so cool. And then we have like a plastic you see through one. And we have another one of those. This one I believe is a little bit more effective. Yeah, that one's actually a little bit more effective. And then we just have, like, a basic plastic thing. Then behind all of that is uh, one of these. Which I believe is a sheet of plexiglass. Or maybe just a sheet of plastic. Any of those, um, any LCD experts can probably tell me. But on one side it's rough, on this side it's not. Let's see that if I flip it around it's... Uh, rough. Not very well on camera. Uh, I'll come back to that. But you can see that this is the uh, matrix. With, of course, all the circuitry on it. You can see how badly it's broken. It's a big hook. I don't know why this didn't break completely, but it didn't. Normally, when you hit it like that, like I did, it shatters into a million pieces. These shatter into a million pieces. And of course, this is the back. That's just the back sheeting. That goes into the back of the, um, of the this thing. It's a little plastic piece. And uh, I'm gonna figure out if this tube is broken or not. So uh, let's figure it out. Now, I would strongly recommend you don't do this because this could end up um, really damaging something. 
but I'm going to try it. Slowly step up the voltage here. Try the other way. Okay, so I just found out that the tube was broken. And I'm going to pretty much disconnect it and uh, destroy it. Like that. So don't touch, don't do that. Don't try and bend one of these, you will break it. As I, you just found out. Don't ever try and bend one. Let me do this so I can get as much mercury out on me as I normally would. There you go.